Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about setting up virtual machines on um, a bare metal server provisioned from OVH. We have already seen uh, how to set up ESXi, which is nothing but a lightweight operating system, whose core capabilities is to create and manage virtual machines. And then we started setting up a virtual machine for P PFSense. And as part of this video, we will see how to install PFSense. So let's start that. Uh, uh, so already the host is created and it is pointing to uh, the networking and also uh, the ISO image. Now we just have to start it to perform the installation. What it will do is it will uh, it will install something called free BSD operating system and on top of that whatever is required to run PFSense will be deployed. Okay, everything will be taken care as part of uh, this installation process as ISO image which is nothing but a, a CD image uh, is mounted onto uh, onto this machine and as we have as we started booting uh, using that image it will start setting up uh, the required components for the PFSense so here it is better to uh, enter shift I so that it will uh, start the installation immediately instead of waiting until uh, time timeout and then we have to accept the settings here and quick or easy install is good enough just start that and hit enter and it will start the installation process installation does not take very long time it will be done within no time once the installation is done uh, we need to map the IP address of the uh, IP address which we bought um, as part of last uh, video uh, uh, to, to this uh, 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 virtual machine uh, where PFSense is being deployed. Okay, we will see that. So here we can use embedded kernel, now VJ console or keyboard and uh, hit enter. And then installation will be done. So what we are trying to do is we we got the bare metal server here i have to change the pointer we got the bare metal server first we have set up pf sense sorry ESXi which is nothing but a lightweight kernel or operating system to set up virtual machines and then we started setting up PFSense okay and uh, when we actually provision the bare metal server we got the IP address and that IP address is pointing to a network switch and uh, sorry is assigned through a network switch and it is uh, assigned to the ESXi host so whenever we try to connect to this bare metal server we are trying to connect to the ESXi, uh, which is nothing but a lightweight operating system, uh, which will manage the virtual machines, which will be created on top of uh, this bare metal server. All the virtual machines will not be, are nothing but a software, uh, softwares, which will have virtual memory, virtual storage, and virtual um, uh, CPU, and also virtual networking. Okay, now uh, as part of setting up the PFSense, first what we have done, we have created a public network called WAN and private network called LAN okay so LAN will be used uh, for private uh, interconnectivity between the virtual machines which will be creating as part of future videos so we will have multiple virtual machines after setting up the PF sense and these virtual machines can uh, talk to each other using the PF sense which is nothing but a virtual router so if they are physical machines typically we will have a physical router uh, as we are talking uh, about interconnectivity between the virtual machines which are running on the same bare metal server there is no point of having uh, a physical uh, router instead we can use virtual router and this virtual router has to be assigned a public ip and also we need to configure a private ip wan will take care of public ip and lan will take care of private IP 
uh, to this one and using the subnet of the LAN we can configure the other machines uh, to uh, network each other using the virtual router which is nothing but pfsense in this case so by now installation might have been done we just have to do the reboot the reboot will take some time and then we will actually uh, we need to take care of post installation activities uh, to configure the uh, public ip and private ip and i will take care as part of the next video that being said I hope you are enjoying the content uh, on the channel. As of now, we have set up the ESXi and then we we provisioned uh, or we created a virtual machine uh, for PFSense and we also installed PFSense on, on that virtual machine. Now we have to take care of post installation activities um, which is to configure the network in such a way that we can um, uh, connect to internet using PFSense and also we can facilitate PFSense for the interconnectivity of the virtual machines. So what we will try to do is, we will try to uh, do both public connectivity from the external world to the PFSense and also we will um, perform the steps that are required our future virtual machines to talk to each other through this virtual router. That being said, if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you have to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. And I'm planning to create a unified platform where we can discuss and learn um, almost any technology on a unified platform. That, uh, thank you very much. Bye.